toxic. Meghan and Harry invite laughter as claim new humiliating title after trashing royal family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have beaten Prince William and Gate, the Duchess of Cambridge, to claim a top accolade. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were revealed to be the most talked about royals of the year. Google searches for the couple were 64% higher than any other couple from the royal family, including William and Kate, new data reveals. Meghan and Harry came top in a study conducted by Lucky Creek which analyzed global Google Trends data for 2021. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, were specifically searched 367% more than William and Kate this year, the research shows. The Sussexes, recently named by Time magazine as among the world's 100 most influential people, stepped back from royal duties last year. They now live in the U.S., where they lead a financially independent life away from the monarchy, with their two children Archie and Lilibet. After departing the firm, the couple sat down with U.S. chat show host Oprah Winfrey for a bombshell interview where they made a series of seismic claims about their time as senior royals. The interest in the couple peaked at this time, the data suggests. The study found that the interview was also the most talked about royal moment of 2021, being searched for 566% more than any other royal event. The interview even beat Prince Philip's funeral, which was the second most talked about royal story of the year. A spokesperson for Lucky Creek said of the findings, Meghan and Harry's departure from working royal life in 2020 sent shockwaves across the world and this data reveals that their influence has only continued to grow. This year has been incredibly eventful for the entire royal family and it is fascinating to see Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey being hailed as the most talked about royal moment of the year. It is truly a testament to the couple's influence that they have captured the world's attention despite very few public appearances. Meghan and Harry raised a lot of eyebrows with their Oprah Winfrey chat wherein they made a number of allegations against the royal family. Oprah Winfrey's exclusive interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle drew an audience of 17.1 million viewers to CBS Sunday evening, according to preliminary overnight ratings data compiled by Nielsen. That number will grow as final ratings figures are released, and may grow significantly as same-day ratings and viewership across digital platforms is added. Meghan Markle will regret throwing the royal family under the bus in her bombshell tell-all with Oprah Winfrey. The Duchess of Sussex will soon realize that her urge to seek revenge will do her no good. As revealed by royal author Tom Quinn on Channel 5 program, I think the problem for Meghan was that she was angry, she was upset. I think that she thought when she entered the royal family she could shake them up and they would love it, she would do things Meghan's way. He continued, when that didn't happen and she came up against what she saw as the forces of reaction it made her so upset that, that interview was her way I think the only way for her to get her revenge and put the case as she saw it. But I think later on she will think I shouldn't have burnt my bridges to that extent. Royal pundit Ashley Pearson agreed saying, some people might wonder whether or not Meghan may live to regret all of the revelations in the Oprah interview. Oprah herself said afterwards that she was surprised that Meghan said some of the things that she did, she added. Meanwhile, data compiled for the study shows that Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, both 39, ranked as the second most popular royal couple, ahead of the Queen and Philip who ranked in third. William and Kate's most talked about moment of 2021 was their 10-year wedding anniversary, an occasion marked with a BBC documentary and an Instagram post from the couple.